Today I want to show you some of my latest Walmart food clearance items in the hopes that you can find some of these deals too. All of these items were found on the regular grocery aisles, not on a rack of dented damaged merchandise, and I'm happy to tell you that cheese and ice cream is on clearance. That's right, who doesn't love cheese and ice cream? Everything you see in this video was from three stores. From the cheese aisle, I bought this Alfredo sauce starter kit. All of the cheese and spices are there, just add milk. Remember the shrimp I bought a few weeks ago? Hey, it all comes together in time. It was regularly $3.24. I bought it for just 75 cents. I got organic cheddar cheese, regularly $2.37 for 50 cents. Pepper Jack cheese snacks, regularly $3.44 for 75 cents. Mozzarella string cheese, regularly $4.98 was $1.25. Pepper Jack cheese slices, regularly $3.28, was also $0.75. Cents. Great Value cheese slices, I can't wait to try this, it's smoke flavored, regularly $4.24, now just $1. Heritage cheese slices was $0.99, cents, now $0.50. Cents. We tried this cheese and it's really good. Organic Colby cheese, regularly $2.37, was 50 cents. This two pound chunk of Swiss cheese was $6.97, now $2 even. 108 slices of Kraft American cheese, regularly $16.98, I paid $4 even. I got a four pound log of Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. I got a couple of these to grate and put in the freezer. Regularly $10.88 marked down to $2.75. They were out of the four pound cheddar cheese log for the same price. Sargento mild cheddar cheese. It was $2.28, now $1.75. I skipped that one. Now, if you go to Walmart and you see this, it doesn't necessarily mean that this deal is sold out for good. If you go back early the next day, you might find that they restocked that item. Walmart also has some grains on clearance. That's right, grains. The Spanish rice, already cooked, just heated up in the microwave, regularly $1.84, now $1.15. Another heat and eat dish, chicken fried rice, also reduced from $1.85 to $1.15. Heat and eat coconut jasmine rice, regularly $1.48, reduced to just 80 cents. Here's quinoa and brown rice, you have to cook this one, regularly $1.98 for 75 cents. I bought rice aronis jalapeno cheddar rice. It was $1, not much of a markdown at 80 cents, but it sounded pretty good, so I bought it. We tried this basil and herb couscous. This was good, just not quite our cup of tea. Regularly $1.98, reduced to $1.45. There were also a lot of other grains on clearance. Once you know that Walmart has a certain category on clearance, grains for example, just search the shelves for the clearance tags. You'll be amazed at how many there are and at how many you don't notice unless you're looking for them. The reductions on the grains weren't as drastic as other markdowns I've seen, but I think this clearance is early, so I'm going to wait this one out. Remember the Nesquik that was always sold out for me? Regularly $4.98. I didn't pay $3.75. I finally got it for a dollar and a quarter. Walmart also has coffee on clearance, the K cup type, which I don't have, so check that out if you use that sort of thing. I'm still seeing ice cream toppings on clearance, and this isn't clearance, but an awesome deal to look for. We bought five dozen eggs for two dollars and eighty one cents you know if it gets to the point where we have to stay at home for a couple of weeks because of the coronavirus we're sitting pretty good with all the food we've bought on clearance and i hope y'all have been stocking up too 
Speaking of which, bleach would be a good thing to have on hand. This was a hidden clearance. The price on the shelf said $2.22, but it was really marked down to $1.77. Another hidden clearance was on the bacon aisle. These chocolate chip muffins, they weren't $1. They were still on clearance for a quarter. The store still had plenty of mug treats on clearance. I believe this is the first time I've seen any marked down to a quarter. That's plenty cheap enough for me, and I have plenty of time to use them. They also had some frosting and some cakes. I'm totally stocked up on those, and I do mean totally. I guess Walmart decided that since they gave you cakes and ice cream toppings, they ought to put ice cream on clearance too. Ice cream sandwiches, regularly $2.56, were marked down to just 50 cents at this store. At another store, we hit the jackpot on ice cream. Chloe's Blueberry Banana Popsicles, regularly $2.97, were just 75 cents. This Mexican ice cream, they're like big freezer pops. I bought these and they are good. They taste like coffee, regularly $3.54 for 75 cents. My phone was acting up when I was filming this. I don't think it likes being stuck in a freezer. <laughs> Briar's Reese's Pieces ice cream. We loaded up on this and treated a lot of our neighbors. Regularly $4.42, a bargain for $1. We also bought a lot of this for the neighborhood kids. Sour Patch ice cream. It was $3.48, marked down to $0.75. Cents. We loaded up on this ice cream for the kids, too. Listed as a bestseller on the website, this turtle ice cream was marked down from $3.97 to $1 even. These pints were $3.78, reduced to $0.75. Cents. At this store, the ice cream sandwiches were a hidden clearance. It says $2.56 on the shelf, but they were actually $0.50, cents, and we loaded up on even more for the kids. It's a good thing we took two big coolers with us. They had drumstick cones marked down from $6.47 to $5.00. Ordinarily, I'd say that was a great deal, but you see the other deals we got. Sour Patch Ice Pops, regularly $3.88, now $2.75. Slime Pops, doesn't that just sound yummy? <laughs> Half price for $1.50. Popsicles that were $3.14 are now $2.25. More Mexican ice cream. This one is watermelon flavor, regularly $3.34 for $0.75. Cents. These are caramel cream with a caramel center. I just had to buy these. Marked down from $3.14 to $0.75. Cents. Kit Kat ice cream, regularly $3.48 was just $0.75. Cents. Lots of this went to the neighbors. And to show you how things vary from store to store, the turtle ice cream here was $3, and we paid $1 at the other store. They had frozen kind bars for a quarter. A box full, regularly $5.97, was only $1.50. I grabbed a box of those. And last but not least, candy bars at the checkout counter were on clearance, too. Most of them were reduced by about a third. So that's what I found on clearance. I hope you're finding the deals too, and I hope it helps.